Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of uh, video 9 of our coexistence videos of Exchange 2013 and 2019. Now in part A we looked at trying to configure our URLs using a 2013 server and running 2019 commands, which obviously didn't work. So now as you can see I'm logged into our 2019 server, you can see by the name this is obviously a full GUI server that I'm running here. So I'm not using obviously um, just a command prompt like you would in unattend mode. So I've copied the um, URLs. And now running the URLs, can you see that the first one didn't fail because it's obviously recognized by 2019? And you can see that because we ran OA earlier, it said that um, note obviously a change needs to be made to ECP even though it was run initially. So now on the final command, you can now see that everything ran, nothing gave an issue. So if we go back to our 2013 server and we do a refresh on our URLs now, you can see that we have obviously the ECP set, EWS set, MAPI set, Active Sync, OAP, OA. And you'll notice that I didn't configure PowerShell because obviously I don't want PowerShell available on the internet to be resolvable because obviously it can be prone to attack. And lastly, if we go into auto discovery, you obviously can't see the URL because you have to run a command for that. But based on what I specified, it has been set. So just to recap, part A, we tried to run these commands from the 2013 console and, and it obviously gave errors because the commands are newer. We had to switch to our 2019 server and launch the exchange management shell, which is the EMS, run the commands which succeeded. And now that it succeeded, we can now continue to on to the next part, which will be working with our certificates. So stay tuned for part 10, which will be configuring our certificates in Exchange 2019. Thank you very much for watching.